You're on a website, you see some tables, and you want to import them into Excel. But how? Watch closely, and I'll quickly show you. Before jumping into importing the tables, let me just show you quickly what the data is that we'll be working with. So I live in the UK, so I just chose some UK house price statistics. We have one, two, three, and then four tables overall, and we will import all of them. So let's quickly jump into Excel, and then within Excel, make sure you go to the data tab at the top, go into get data from other sources, and then go to from web. Now you see here that all we have to do is pass in the URL. So let's do that, go back to the browser, and then I am going to hit Control C to copy, and then back to Excel, and then hit Control V to paste in the URL, and hit OK. Now this might take Excel a couple seconds to connect to the website. Let's just sit back and wait. And that's it. You can see that Excel has successfully connected to the website and we have the tables successfully loaded in. So at the top here, you can select multiple items. So I will do that and then select table 0, 1, 2 and 3. And then at the bottom here, instead of hitting load, I will hit load 2. And now we're presented with this import data pop-up box where I will choose table and then hit OK. So what Excel will do now is that it'll load each individual table on a separate sheet. And that's it. Excel has done all of the heavy lifting for us. So just to double check the tables, let me put the two windows side by side. Let's look at table one, for example, So which is table zero in Excel. We have 267521 at the top here, and then we have 267521. And let's just quickly check table four, for example, we have 140.31 here. And then let me just go to the last table. We also have 140.3 here. So that's it. It's this easy to import tables from the web into Excel. If you like this video, then you'd probably like these videos here. I'm going to leave them on for a couple seconds just so you can click on them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.